Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you six different July the 4th nail designs to get your nails looking all patriotically American for the holiday. Now all six designs will be using the same white, blue and red polishes. However there will be a couple of different silver and glitter polishes but I will link them all down in the description box below. For the first design we're going to be doing these easy reverse waterfall nails and all you're going to need to do these is a thin nail art or striper brush and nail polish. Start by painting your nail with white nail polish and then once that's dry get your nail art brush and draw uneven length lines on the tip of your nail up towards the cuticle with all three colours to create these messy lines. Once you're happy with the opacity of the lines and their placement then add a top coat to smooth it all down and seal it onto the nail. For the next design you will again need to start with a white base. You're also going to need three different size dotting tools or dotting tool substitutes a large size one, a medium size one and a smaller size one to create the different size dots. Working with one colour and one nail at a time, start with a large size dotting tool and randomly place the large dots near the cuticle end of the nail, being careful not to add too many and overcrowd the nail. Add medium dots to the middle portion of the nail next and then finally add small dots to the bottom of the design. Repeat the process with all of the colours that you have chosen, overlapping some dots to create depth but being careful to leave some base showing and not add too many. When you're happy with the design, apply a top coat to seal it all down and smooth the design out. For the third design, I decided to use some nail studs and gems to create a fancy sparkly feature nail on each of my hands. Again, start with a white base and let it dry completely. While it's drying, I'm painting the other nails blue and red. I'm going to be using a variety of studs and gems that are all from eBay and the Born Pretty store and they're all really cheap. To attach them to the nail I'm using a clear polish, not a quick dry top coat, just a regular clear polish to stick the studs and the gems onto. Now I'm using a wax pencil to pick up the studs and gems and I'm just randomly placing them all over the nail in a mosaic like pattern. I'll list everything that I used as well as where to get them down below in the description box for you guys. Now you can add a top coat to seal them all down if you'd like, but since I press mine down into the wet polish on my nail, I'm happy that they'll stay for me, but if you are rough on your nails, then please add a top coat to secure them properly. Now for this design, again, you're going to need another white polish base. You'll also need straight tape. These are vinyl tape from What's Up Nails, but normal tape will work too if you don't own any of these. Making sure that your base coat is completely dry, apply one of the tapes directly down the middle of the nail, and then paint half of your nail blue. Remove the tape quickly for the cleanest results. Now once that blue has dried, attach more straight vinyl tapes horizontally on the second half of the nail, spaced evenly apart. Carefully paint red nail polish between them and then remove them quickly to avoid any mess. Apply a top coat and I paint mine horizontally onto the lines to stop the polish from smearing down the nail and then regularly on the other side of the nail. I'm going to take some nail glue and apply some down the middle seam of the nail and then I'm going to be applying these awesome star studs onto the nail with my wax pencil. For extra protection, you can add another coat of top coat to keep everything in place. Paint the rest of your nails using silver, red and blue to complete the look. Now for this design you're going to need to start with a blue base and since we're going to be using a vinyl it needs to be totally dry so apply your favourite quick dry top coat or the vinyl can pull up the base polish. I'll be using these star vinyls from What's Up Nails and I'll link her website down below. Remove the vinyl and place it on the nail making sure that it's sealed properly on all of the edges of your nail as well as on top. Now with big vinyls like this and because my nails are naturally really curved, I prefer to sponge the polish onto the nail to get a clean look with less bleeding under the vinyl. But if you just want to paint over the vinyl with polish, I'm not the nail police so you can do what you want. It really just comes down to personal preference. Remove the vinyl to reveal pretty star awesomeness underneath and then seal it all down with a top coat. For the stripe nail, start with a white base and then I'm going to be using this old school nail tape from eBay. Cut it all up and apply it to the nails evenly and all the way up the nail. Cut off any of the excess using nail scissors and then seal it all down with a top coat. Again, I'm putting it on vertically to reduce the likelihood of bubbles forming in between the tapes. Finally, the last 4th of July designs for this year are these badass droopy flags that are 100% inspired by Spellbound Nails. I'll leave a link to her blog down below so you guys can check her out. Again, start with a white base and then using What's Up Nail Vinyls, apply them to the nail horizontally. Apply red polish between the tapes and then quickly remove the tapes to avoid any mess. 
Then with a small nail art brush, add dots where you want the drips to be and then start to fill them out with curved and rounded lines. Fill in the entire top half of the nail with the blue drips. Then take a silver glitter polish and the same nail art brush and apply the glitter all over the blue to represent the stars on the flag. Smooth and seal it all down with a top coat and your nails will be ready for any 4th of July party. Thanks for watching guys and please have a great and safe July 4th.